Hello, I'm on Facts of Mars. I want to state right from the start, I don't take this story seriously. I'm calling BS on it. Uh, a company called Air Protein claims that they can make meat from air. Now, a Bay Area company is up into the meatless meat industry. What industry? With a new mind-boggling, seriously, I'm perplexed category of meatless meat, air-based meat. Yes, that's right. Air Protein today announced the launch of an air-based meat substance that can be used to make burgers, chicken, turkey, or virtually any meat product you want it to be. No. <laughs> I'm just laughing at this one. I can't help it. I can't deal. Uh, you can even use this air-based product to make protein and rich pastas, cereals, and beverages. Product itself looks much like a protein powder, but consists only of elements found in the air. Well, so do we, technically. Specifically, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and nitrogen which are then blended with water and mineral nutrients to create a base. How do you get them from <laughs> being uh, gases to solid? This is such nonsense. Can air protein converts the elements on the edible product to pro the powder base with an amino acid profile similar to that of real meat. It contains all nine essential amino acids, so it's a complete protein. Uh, there's a lot more to meat than that. Air protein is also fortified with vitamins, including B12, which is primarily found in animal products and is difficult for many vegans and vegetarians to get enough of in their diets. Well, that much is true. They do have a a vegetarian diet isn't all that healthy. Air Protein is sister company of Converti, a company that focuses on using carbon dioxide to make environmentally friendly products such as plastics and soil. Soil? Really? I'm going to skip back up to the higher uh, paragraph. CEO of Air Protein Lisa Dyson started the company after realizing that single celled organisms could convert carbon dioxide into nutrients. The question was essentially could they do it? Why couldn't if they could do it, why couldn't humans? No <laughs> nutrients really? They produce bacteria poop. <laughs> Too soon to tell how this air-based air protein compares to real or full meat in terms of long-term health, but maybe it has potential to be both in terms of environmental health. There's nothing there to eat. You can't just take gases and make them into solids. So, let's take a look around at this. Believe it or not, they actually make it look like they're serious about this. The inspiration behind Air, Be Air Protein began in the 1960s with NASA and a quest for deep space travel. These scientists on NASA challenged how to produce food for a year-long mission with limited space and resources, soon discovered a special class of microbes. These natural celled, single celled organisms, specifically called hydrogenotropes, act like plants in converting carbon dioxide into food. Uh, plants use photosynthesis to uh, do this, actually, people. So let's look at what these bacteria actually do. 
This is Wicked Wikipedia. Now this is wrong. Uh, this is what they actually do here. CO2 plus 4H2 makes methane and water. That's right. These bacteria uh, poop out methane and water. Somehow they get energy from this reaction. Unbelievable. But they don't uh, produce any protein. Believe it or not, there's an entire TED speech. <laughs> this comes up. Ever wonder how oh, in this uh, TED speech, Lisa Dyson, that sounds familiar, uh, she's the one who runs that company. This is the idiot who claims that she can make meat out of thin air. Uh, I don't know if she's some kind of a whack job or... I don't know. She probably belongs in a mental hospital. I don't know. But the answer is no. <laughs> it is, there's far more to making meat than anyone could ever do with bacteria. You know, what she's claiming is that NASA wanted to use bacteria to feed its astronauts. I've actually heard that they could do that, possibly. they feed the bacteria to the astronauts and it didn't work out so hot. Caused all sorts of gastrointestinal pro problems. Uh, the space station... Uh, the space station is resupplied with real food because they haven't learned how to do anything like this. Yeah, this is on Forbes. Right here it is. They managed to make Forbes. So I don't I don't know, but I'm calling BS on this. I think this is utter nonsense. Uh, like I said, that bacteria actually poops out me uh, methane and water. It doesn't make protein or anything like that. There's usually acid and anything like that going across the screen. I, if I, my memory serves right, the uh, Apollo astronauts, what they did is they basically ate nasty stuff from a tube or something. Kind of like a tube of uh, tooth, toothpaste. They ended up nasty to eat. But anyway, other BS. I'm not sure what's going on here. I wouldn't touch this. Total utter BS. You can't make meat from thin air. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm calling BS. MR Facts, MR. Thanks for watching.